In September 2019, cited I wanted to make this Yoda my home screen, and I'll note this is before The Mandalorian, and I decided it could be fun to continue that theme with an all-shortcuts home screen uh, based on this, this, I built this. This is an entirely shortcuts-based home screen. Under each icon is areas of my life. For instance, the lightning bolt is Max Sparky. If I tap on that, it opens up a choose from menu shortcut that lets me choose from a bunch of things I do as Max Sparky. This is all context-based. For instance, if I hit inbox, it goes not just to my mail application, but the inbox for Max Sparky in my mail application, so I don't have to see the inbox for the legal practice or the personal email. It allows me to stay within context. Later is also a good example. That's just items that show up in my later box through same box. Action gets me to the action menu just for Max Sparky and OmniFocus and so on. So as I go through this shortcut, I can do things just related to that part of my life and ignore the other parts of my life. And it's just a, a great way to keep myself in a single context. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this so you can see the shortcut itself. So it starts with a choose from menu action. And then when you scroll down, you see a lot of these are single action commands and applications like the Max Sparky inbox and email or the Max Sparky action list and OmniFocus. But there's also a lot of these that are uh, open applications as an application launcher. For instance, I have one called RSS. That's opening my RSS reader, which happens to be the application called Unread. So if I scroll down to the RSS entry, you'll see it says Open Unread. So it just opens the application. Uh, post ideas are things I do in OmniFocus when I get an idea for a post for Max Sparky. Um, it allows me to add not only the, the title automatically, it also allows me to add the tags. It allows me to flag the item and allows me to edit in OmniFocus at the time of creation. All of this is to speed up things I do in this Max Sparky context. Now to get them looking with this unique look on the screen, all I did was I took some basic icons and they were through the Max Stories icon set that you can purchase. I'll link it below or the uh, Apple SF symbols set that they released with iOS 13 and Mac OS Catalina and I would just put them on a background that's color matched to this green. And I got the green out of Yoda's ear on that opening screen. Uh, so if I change the backdrop, see if I go to, this is my settings shortcut and I go to settings. I'm gonna change it to what, the wallpaper to one of the, uh, the built-in ones. You can see that's the trick to these icons. They're set to match the background color. And the fact that there's no words under them, that's a lot easier now in shortcuts than it used to be. I'm gonna go into shortcuts. And when you go now to set an icon to the home screen, all you have to do is tap on the little X to remove the name. Uh, before you would have to put a special empty character set in there. It was kind of complicated. So if I hit add that, click done, you'll see there it is without a name. And that second screen for me is where I keep things that I'm testing out and just the folder with all of the apps in it. Occasionally I do need to go over there, but I find generally this home screen full of shortcuts uh, gives me what I need. If there's an app that I find myself continually going to folders to launch, I find where it would fit on these uh, shortcuts and I just put it there. Okay, I'm going to restore the green background because I really don't like the way that looks. And what I did with these is I made a gallery in photos that's just related to this screen. So you can see there's all the various um, icons I've created. I did these in OmniGraffle, but you could do them in any graphics application. I'm going to pick that green, then set it back to my home screen color. And everything's back to normal. The other thing I like with this setup, or I'm using more often, is the Today View screen. I've become more deliberate about it since uh, there's some things I want to get at quick access to that aren't on the screen. Uh, my calendar, weather, OmniFocus. I've been doing some time. Uh, tracking, testing stuff 
And then I've got some also some stuff I'm doing for fitness. And I also put all the audio stuff here, podcast, dark noise and music. So that's all accessible here. Um, either way, it, it seems to be working out pretty nice for me. I, when I started doing this, I thought it was just going to last for a week or so just as kind of a goofy extreme test, but I really like this setup. The downsides to it are that you don't get that contextual menu. Like when I hold down drafts here, you see that I can do a bunch of things with drafts uh, because I don't have any other icons on my home screen. I can't do that with those apps. And I also don't get badges. You know, if I've got a badge on my mail app, I don't see it on my home screen. Although I do get badges through these folders. And if I long press on the folders, you can see which apps have some badges attached to them. If you're curious about this, I recommend giving it a shot. It uh, actually is a lot more powerful than you might think it is. And uh, you don't have to go all in with it. You could just like put your folders on the home screen, but I, I just really like this look. So I've, I've been keeping it this way and I think I'm gonna keep it this way a bit longer into the future. Uh, if you have any questions about how to make these shortcuts, check out the shortcuts field guide. I've got a discount code just for this video. It's only gonna last for a month after this video publishes. We'll call it a home screen SC, so home screen shortcuts. And if you use that, you'll get $5 off at learn.maxsparky.com on the shortcuts field guide. Either way, uh, I hope you try out some shortcuts on your home screen, and I hope they help you as much as they do me.